When children are forced to battle cancer, there are hospital stays, there are procedures, and a whole host of things that usually consume their lives. And that means there isn't much time to just be a kid. But there's a special camp that aims to change that. Mitch Album takes us there in this week's Heart of Detroit. Here comes the sun. Michigan is home to Special Days Camps, one of the longest running pediatric oncology camps in the world. It's a unique place where not only do kids with cancer get to be kids, but siblings are also welcome, an experience that Dawn Cross shared with her brother. I had a brother diagnosed with leukemia when he was three, and it was my brother's first experience, and my mom said he was crying. He just wanted to leave with her, and a week later when she came back to get him, he was hiding in the woods. Because he didn't want to come home. <laughs> he didn't want to come home. Dawn and her brother Michael fell in love with special days camps. It was here that Dawn discovered her passion for nursing. And when she's not working at Detroit Children's, she's part of a skilled team of medical professionals at the camp, helping to make lifelong memories for kids with cancer and their families. When the cancer kids are at camp, we hardly ever see them. They don't want to have anything at all to do with the nurses, but the siblings, after every meal, will be lined up outside the med center because they just want that little bit of one-on-one, -on -one, that full attention on them. I would imagine sometimes they feel like all the attention goes to the sick brother or sister and they feel like they're forgotten. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So it's a connection for them, too. And creating connections is what Special Days Camps is all about. I understand the siblings. I've been there. I know that it affects them just as much as it affects the person in treatment. Camp is not about having cancer. Camp is about living with cancer because and the kids. Fun. Exactly. Special Days Camps is bringing laughter and joy to kids touched by cancer right here in the heart of Detroit.